everyone, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing a special all signs reading for you. I'm gonna be explaining how this all signs reading works, what you're gonna get out of the reading, and what you need to know. Now this reading is going to be a general reading for all signs. I'm gonna be going sign by sign by sign. There will be timestamps in the description box as well as the comment section. There will also be timestamps throughout the video. There will be blocks, time uh, chunks to go to your sign, okay? Now just keep in mind the Timestamps are not gonna work during the live. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, you're liking the channel, you're sharing the channel so that you are a part of the community, so that you can be aware of when you can actually come back and you know review your sign if you need to, okay? So it's really important that you're subscribing. I am posting sporadically, okay? So that means there's no schedule. Whenever I post is when I post. So if you are somebody who is not subscribed, you're gonna wanna make sure you subscribe, okay? By subscribing, you're gonna be aware of when I post. Now, if you are subscribed to the channel and you haven't been able, you know, to get the notifications, you haven't been able to see when I'm online, then you know it is encouraged that you come back to the channel every day or every other day, just to make sure that you're not missing any important content on the channel, okay? Uh, this is gonna be a general reading. It's not gonna resonate with all of you. If it does resonate with you, there will be links in the description box below for the extendeds. Now, the extendeds are gonna be coming out over the next few days. I have not completed them yet, but it, it is important that you come back to the channel check beneath the all signs reading because i am going to be doing uh some extended readings there so if you want to know a little bit more about your situation i am going to be doing that in the extended if you are interested in that okay so i'm going to jump right into the reading i'm not going to waste any time just keep in mind if you like the channel and you want to see more of these all sign readings very in-depth very intuitive readings that are going to not only guide you through predictions but also guide you through astrology you're going to want to make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification button so that you don't miss any future uploads. The next requirement to keep these all signs going, because I know you all love them. We need to get 10,000 likes. Okay. So hit the like button. We need 10,000 likes on this video, at least 500 comments below. I don't care what you comment, please keep it civil, you know, be nice. This is a community where we uplift each other. So, you know, even if it's thanks Monica for doing the reading, you know, I really do appreciate that. Okay. And I also want to thank everybody who has left beautiful comments and, you know, has really encouraged me to continue being on the channel. Um, you know, because <laughs> there's been points in times where I said to myself, I don't know if I still want to do this, but you know, I see a lot of people encouraged by my work and I really, you know, I'm really thankful for that. So yeah. So make sure you leave a comment, make sure you're hitting the like button, make sure you are subscribed. And most importantly, please share this content because there could be somebody out there that needs it. Okay. Uh, so we're going to jump right into the reading. I'm going to start off with the sign of Pisces. I know the last all signs reading I did, uh, it was kind of short and you know, I want to start off with Pisces. So, you know, it's not short this time. Okay. So we're going to start off with Pisces. There is going to be timestamps, like I said, in the description box below. And before I get into this reading, I'm going to explain to you how the reading works. So you get an idea of what you're getting out of the reading. Now, this reading is going to be a very in-depth reading. It's going to be about your soulmate. And I'm going to be talking about past, present, and future. I'm going to talk about what's going on, currently what will happen or what may happen in the future and what has happened in the past. I'm going to also be taking a look at your soulmate. We're going to see who your soulmate is, when this person's coming in, any important messages you need to know about this person. So, you know, if you're single or you just simply want to know who you're attracting, I'm going to be pulling that energy for you. I'm going to also be taking a look at the past person. Okay. So, you know, we have entered into Mercury retrograde yesterday, I believe was the first day of Mercury retrograde. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about that. And there could be some important messages surrounding Mercury retrograde that you may need to know. Okay. This tends to be a time of a lot of miscommunication, a lot of, you know, needing to review, revise things like that. Now, Mercury currently is in Virgo, so it's not that bad. I know a lot of you may say, I don't like Mercury retrograde. 
retrograde. I don't want to have to deal with it, but I feel like this Mercury retrograde is a good one because it's really going to help us to really correct things that have been really difficult in our life for quite some time. I'm going to also be taking a look at important, uh, subconscious messages. Okay. And this is something I haven't done on the channel, but I'm planning on doing that. I'm also going to be doing a bonus. Okay. And the bonus is going to be ask a question, get an answer. It's absolutely free. If you'd like to donate to the channel, I am thanking you in advance. If you decide to do that, I'm going to be pulling one card and it's going to give me an idea of, you know, whether or not this per if you're going to reconcile with this person. Uh, and also if you have a question, so I'll pull two cards, you know, one to see if you're going to reconcile with this person you know, if you're talking about a person from the past, and I'm also going to be doing, ask a question, get an answer at the end. So what we're going to be doing is throughout the reading, if you have a question, you can type your question below. Okay. In the comment section, or you can type your question in the live feed. And this way your questions out in the ether and spirit can pick it up and better give you an answer. Okay. So I'm going to hop right into the reading and we're going to see what's going on for Pisces. Okay. We're starting off with Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about the past person. Tell me about the future person. Okay. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I'm also going to be looking at your financial situation. I'm going to be pulling one card for that. So if you're interested in knowing about your financial situation, that's also going to be included in the reading. I'm just going to pull one random card for that. Okay. Okay. So are they coming back? I'm just going to pull one card for that. Okay. And then we'll do ask a question, get an answer at the end. Okay. So for you, Pisces, we're going to start off with your past, present, and future. So past, present, and future, uh, you know, in the past, I feel for you, there was a new beginning. Okay. You had some sort of passionate new beginning with someone could have been an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm getting a cancer here and I'm getting an Aries. There was a very strong energy here of passion, lust. And I feel like over time throughout the relationship, there started to be a lot of memories from the past. Okay. So this could have been something that started very quickly and ended very quickly. Somebody here in the past started to become extremely, what's the word I'm looking for? They started to become really logical about the situation. So even though it started out very lustful, there was this strong energy here of starting to become very logical in the past. Tell me more. Yes. Seduction. Okay. So there was this really strong energy here of flirting attraction, uh, lust here in the past. And it looks like this is somebody that you started to have a lot of memories with, but there was a lot of sexual energy here in the past. Yes. And memories. There you go. Just like I said, now in the present moment, it looks like there's a strong energy here, Pisces of you wanting to have a new beginning with this person. However, I'm just going to mention this right now. There's been a lot of inconsistencies between you and this person. Okay. Some days it's great and amazing. Others, other days it's not, there's something here that's inconsistent and you don't really know what to do because deep down inside Pisces, you really want to have a new beginning with this person, but there's a lot of this uncertainty. There's a lot of this ego here. Okay. So whoever it is that you're dealing with, there's somebody who could be like a player. I'm getting this player vibe and you feel like 
something here is not moving forward. Although you want to have a new beginning with this person. Somebody here in the present moment is self-indulgent. They're very focused on themselves. They're not really interested in the other person. And this is what's creating a lot of uncertainty connected in the present moment to this person. Tell me more about the present moment for Pisces. Yeah, so, you know, for some of you, okay, there is this pain in the present moment, heartbreak, stabbed in the back. So there's this pain, right, of, you know, I'm still hurt over this. I can't seem to move forward. I feel like this is you, Pisces. I do get a sense here that someone in the present moment wants to express their love. This could be you wanting to express this. And the reason why there's a desire in the present moment to have a new beginning is because like I said, there's a lot of passion. So the passion that started in the past, it hasn't really fizzled. It's still there. There's still this feeling of, I love you. I want to be with you. And this person, I feel like this person that you're inquiring about in the present moment, they really, really love you. Okay. So the reason why there's this inconsistency, of course, it's because Venus is still retrograding in Leo. Uh, and this is affecting us all, but it's going to be going direct on September 3rd. So this is great news. And this reading is timeless. So whenever you watch it is the time. This person in the present moment has tons and tons and tons of attraction for you, but there's this fear here of getting hurt. There's this fear of, well, I don't want to get stabbed in the back. You both like each other. You both are in this energy of wanting to have a new beginning, but it, nothing has been solidified between you and this person. Now in the near future, there's something here that I need to warn you about. You need to be careful in the near future. The reason why is because I feel, okay, and a lot of you may not agree. And, and again, when I predict, you're not meant to agree with me, okay? So if you're watching this and you say, well, that the future energy doesn't resonate, well, hun, you can't, you won't, you don't know the future energy. That's why you're here, right? So in the near future, what you need to be careful of is even though you and this person really like each other, it, there's no questioning that. Somebody here is still hurt and it's showing up here in the near future, okay, with the Three of Swords. Somebody here is still hurt. They haven't been able to get over something here that happened in the past. Somebody here is in the near future trying to put an end to the pain that they've been feeling. And there will be an opportunity for that. But one of the things that you need to be careful of in the near future, because we are moving into Mercury retrograde, and this is happening in your seventh house, which means there is a potential here for miscommunication. There is a potential here for the relationship to start very quickly and end. And this is something you need to be aware of. So in the near future, your message here is to be compassionate when you're dealing with this person, because a lot of you don't get the fact that this person's been hurt or you've been hurt. Somebody here in the near future is so hurt over something here that happened in the past. They're still in this process in the near future, four of swords of healing. Tell me more about this energy in the near future for Pisces. Yeah, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set, date. So you see a lot of you are going to be planning some sort of date in the near future, but there's a lot of this uncertainty connected to the fact that you, you know, a lot of you may be saying, well, is this person just playing me? Do they, you know, are they just playing games? No, they haven't completely healed yet. There is an opportunity in the near future to be engaged with this person, to have a commitment if you and this person are able to be compassionate with one another because if someone here is still hurt, they still need time to get over it. And this is why you have girl talk time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So there's a bit of this single energy here in the near future that I'm feeling, but there is this opportunity. Now, Let's talk about the person from the past and then we're gonna talk about the new person. The person from the past, you still have a very strong connection with this person. I do feel like this person is trying to get you back, okay? I'm getting uh, 855 on the clock. Check out 855 online to get some more information about that. This person is somebody who is very well known. They're very prominent. They're, they have this Leo energy, so they could be very bold, very out there. There's somebody who's able to manipulate energy, okay? So you could be dealing with someone who's like a magician. They're a manifester. They can create essentially whatever they want. You and this person do not need to talk. There's still this energetic bond between you and this person. Are you and this person going to possibly reconcile? I, fe I feel there is a possibility during the Mercury retrograde. It says no need to worry. So this person's not worried about it. They're not worried about whether or not they're going to reconcile with you because they know that they have the power to do whatever 
it is that they want. So whoever it is that you're attracting, you're attracting somebody who is very confident, extremely. I don't know who you're dealing with, you know, this past person, but they're very confident. It could be a Leo, sun, moon, or rising. And this is a person who thinks about you nonstop. Okay. So I do see a reconciliation here. If that's something you're interested in, if this is a new person, you could be meeting this person around your birthday. Now this reading is timeless. So whenever you watch it is when you need to watch it. One of the things that you need to be advised when it comes to the new person is you need to be clear on what you want. Bottom line, if you're somebody who's going into a connection and you're not really sure of what you want, it creates confusion and uncertainty. And then it creates this blocked energy. A lot of you are asking, why is it when I meet somebody new, it doesn't work out. It doesn't work out because you conceal how you feel. A lot of you have a hard time truly expressing how you feel because you're afraid of rejection or you're afraid of getting hurt. And what spirit is saying is one, you need to get extremely clear what you want and do not be afraid to express what it is that you want. Once you get clear on what you want and you stop hiding your feelings, that's when this person is going to be able to really make time for you and really be able to uh, provide what it is that you need. But if there's a lot of this uncertainty and you're questioning all the time, this is what creates some sort of defensive energy. Okay. Tell me more about this person. You have the nine of air. A lot of you are going to be attracting an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, sun, moon, or rising. It's that is as expecting the worst self-fulfillment prophecies, sleepless nights. One of the things you need to be aware of when it comes to manifesting new love is stop allowing your mind to overtake your manifestations. If you want something, you need to make sure you're not living in this energy of fear. If you're living, in this energy of fear, you're creating that and you're manifesting that. So one of the things spirit is asking you to do when it comes to manifesting love is to work through your fear base. If you're somebody who's constantly in anxiety, fear, stress, worry, you're going to attract this. And this is why you need to be aware of it. Grounding yourself, getting clear on what you want, and also envisioning the person that you want to attract is really important. I see October being a really important month for you to attract this person, primarily at the beginning of October and at the end of September. Tell me more about this person from the past. You have cycles. So a lot of you went through really um, intense cycles with someone here from the past. And this is somebody here that you needed to learn things from. This could have been a karmic here in the past that you had some sort of experience with. Okay. So I do see you coming back to this person. If you're interested, they're going to show up most likely during the mercury retrograde. Tell me more about the new person. A lot of you are going to meet somebody who's at a distance. They live at a, you know, in a different um, part of the world, but this person who comes into your life, there's somebody that when you first meet this person, you don't really see them being a part of your destiny. This is somebody who is going to come into your life and they're very eccentric. They're very different. They're not a conventional person. The number 52 is really important for you. So look at September 25th as an important date or October 5th or October 2nd is going to be really important for you when it comes to meeting someone new. Now we're going to end off your reading with your financial message. Your financial message is the moon card. So the moon card is representing your emotions. A lot of you have a very something that you're really emotional about, something that you're very passionate about, something that you dream about doing. Spirit is saying it is time for you to implement something here that you're intuitively aware of. So something that you really want to do that you've been intuitively wanting to do for a while is something that you should be embarking on. You have number one and nine, which equals 10. This is self. So if you're inquiring about your financial situation and you're saying, well, when is my financial situation going to get better? It's going to get better when you start to taking action. If you're waiting on everybody else to help you, that's the wrong mentality. You need to take action and you need to listen to your intuition because your intuition is showing you exactly what you need to do. Okay. So Pisces, this is what I have for you before I end off the reading. We're going to do a yes or no. Is it a yes or no? Please comment in the live feed your question. If you're watching this live, if you're not watching this live, please comment below and let me know what your question is. Okay. So is it a yes or no for Pisces? Is it a yes or no for Pisces? 
be assertive. This is a yes, but it, you know, it's going to come down to the level of confidence that you have. If you are not confident in what it is that you want, it will not happen. When you are confident in what it is that you want and you start to take action and you show the world what you want, not being in this energy of being wishy-washy, because this is a problem, right? That, you know, spirit is telling me you have, you're very wishy-washy. You know, some days you're like, yeah, I really want it. But then when it shows up, you don't want it. So you need to make sure that you know what you want, stick to it, and then be assertive. And I feel like this will be a yes if you do that, okay? So Pisces, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. We're gonna move on to the next sign now. Please make sure that if you are uh, entering into the live right now, whether you're watching it live or you're watching this after, make sure you're hitting that like button. We need at least 10,000 likes on this video to keep the series going. We did that last time. So, you know, every few days you will get... Um, a reading for me. Okay. So make sure you're checking your sun, your moon, and your rising as well. Okay. We're going to move on to the sign of Aries. Just keep in mind the readings are for those of you who really need it. If you're somebody who has a perfect life, uh, then you don't need this channel. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to Aries. All right, Aries, tell me about Aries. So for you, Aries, this Mercury retrograde is happening in your house of uh, health and it's happening in your house of day-to-day -day work. So a lot of you are gonna be revising and reviewing the type of work that you do day to day is it something that's serving you a lot of you are choosing to end a job or you're choosing to review and revise the type of job that you're doing because it could be affecting your health in some way shape or form so that could be changing for you because virgo is the ruler of your sixth house There's a very important uh, decision that you need to make uh, in the month of September, okay? And again, this could be connected to your job, your life path. Some of you have two options to choose from, okay? Two paths to choose from. Tell me about Aries's financial situation. Is it a yes or no? Is this person coming back for Aries? Are they coming back? Okay. All right. So for you, Aries, in the past, you have the Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. So in the recent past, there was a very, very fulfilling connection that you were in. Okay. Someone here really filled your cup. This could have been a family situation. There was this very strong feeling of completion here in the past. A lot of you were recognized here for something in the past that you achieved. And I feel like this attracted a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting a Leo. Pisces is really strong here. Somebody really recognized you in the past and they really liked you here in the past. And it looks really positive here in the past. Now, for some of you, there could have been this inconsistency in love with someone but because you started to focus a lot on yourself and your career this person couldn't help themselves they really just found you super attractive i'm seeing 905 on the clock somebody here was deeply hurt in the past and they were on and off with someone else okay and then they saw you and they said wow there's an opportunity for me to be with aries some of you were in separation in the past or you were dealing with somebody who was just going through a separation 
this person ended up coming towards you and you helped them heal and, and, and vice versa. So there was a lot of this healing here and you realize that this person may be my soulmate. So this person disconnected from one person and they ended up moving towards you is what I'm seeing in the past. Now, for some of you, there is a marriage that's taking place or you're already married with this person. There is this feeling of giving up on the marriage, but I think one of you or both of you is not willing to give up on this because there is a lot of love here. If you're having problems in your marriage in the present moment, a lot of you are being tested right now, but it doesn't mean that you can't overcome the issues in the marriage, which I feel like you will. If you're separated from this person in the present moment, somebody here is reminiscing over your photos. Like they look at your photos and they're like, oh, <gasps> And, you know, they remember everything that happened between you and them. I feel like if there's problems in your marriage in the present moment, you're going to get over it. Spirit is saying to nurture the connection. The more you nurture the connection, the better it will be. This is about doing activities, creative activities together with your partner to enhance your relationship. Some of you also in the present moment feel like giving up on love and spirit is saying, do not give up on love because there is an opportunity for you to attract it. Some of you are too focused on yourself. And this is why there's an issue here when it comes to attracting some type of love here. Now, because Venus is retrograde in Leo, a lot of you are not advised to look for love during this time until Venus goes direct. When Venus goes direct, then you can implement and solidify some sort of relationship. If you do not give up, there's an opportunity here for you to attract the type of love that you're looking for, and it could lead to a serious commitment. But you also have to be open to not being so self-focused, because if you're too self-focused, you may miss an opportunity when it comes to love. Now, when it comes to the future, a lot of you, again, I'm seeing this alone energy. This There's this constant, I'm working, working, working. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with working all the time. But if you're trying to attract love, this could be something that you need to reconsider. Yeah, breaking up separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So somebody here feels like you work too much in the near future. It's like you don't give this person enough time. And this is a direct message to you in the near future. There's definitely, um, again, transcending obstacle, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. I like you. Somebody really likes you in the near future. So if you're single, you could be attracting somebody here who really likes you. If you're somebody who has a hard time attracting love, it's because you need to focus on building your self-confidence. Do not confuse building your self-confidence with overworking, okay? Because you can overwork. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're building confidence. Are you taking care of your health? Are you working on yourself? Are you eating the right foods? Are you aware of the type of patterns you are doing in your work? Because some of you are working and you're not really taking care of your body. You may be drinking or eating the wrong foods. So in the near future, it's really important that you are aware of those things in order to transcend your energy, to overcome obstacles, learn expansion, new phase, because there's a new phase that's coming in. Once Mercury goes into Libra, which it will after the Mercury retrograde, it's slowly going to go there. That's when you're going to be able to attract some sort of love into your life. Okay. So if you're somebody who's single and you're saying, Hey, you know, I want to attract love. You need to work on your health. You really do. Cause there's something there that's holding you back. Um, some of you need to work on your appearance. And this is also something that is going to aspect you closer to November. I feel like November is a big month for you when it comes to your looks and stuff. Now, if this is about the person from the past, somebody here, cut you off or you cut them off. I feel like one of you was overly emotional in the past and the other person was super egotistical and somebody here just cut you off or you just cut them off. And you know, you could have said to yourself, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm not dealing with this, um, energy anymore. So you turned your back on this person. They turned their back on you. There was supposed to be an engagement. You were in this person. We're supposed to get married, but it never really happened. Uh, let me see. Tell me more about this person from the past. Aries. Yeah. Invincible. 
like, so in the recent past, you were dealing with someone who didn't really see you for who you were. And I think that's why a lot of you have started to focus on yourself because you said, well, if, you know, if this person isn't going to see me for who I am and appreciate me for who I am, because some of you were recognized in the past and that was the right person that you needed to be with. While others of you didn't really transcend and evolve to that level of being noticed. Okay. Here in the past. And there was a big, big lesson here in the past with this person from the past, because they, there was a lot of promises here in the past. There was a lot of this like, oh, we're going to be together. Everything's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. But then there was also this feeling of fakeness here in the past, you know, with the mask. It's like, you know, I don't know if I can really trust you. I don't know if you're really um, being honest with me. Somebody here in the past was super egotistical. Like they only cared about themselves. Are you reconciling with this person? I feel like there is an opportunity here for you to reconcile with this person. But at the same time, you need to recognize your worth. So if you're somebody who, you know, you're constantly focusing on yourself, that's fine, but make sure whatever activities or things that you're doing to enhance yourself, they're positive. It's not this, oh, I'm just going to focus on myself and you know, that's it. If you're focusing on yourself, what activities and things are you actually doing to enhance yourself? Are you going to exercise? Are you eating healthy? Are you trying to maybe lose weight? Whatever it is that you're trying to do, are you trying to enhance your career or is it just you being so focused on yourself just for the heck of focusing on yourself? Cause it can't just be that. And this is why this person, there was a lot of this in, um, invincible energy of feeling like something dwindled here. Okay. Over time with this person from the past. So if you were in a relationship with this person and you let yourself go, this is a reason why something here stopped working because you started to let yourself go. And this person was like, okay, well, what happened to Aries? I see 9-11 on the clock. So there was a big breakup here in the past. So are you and this person going to reconcile? I feel like you will, but you still need to work on yourself, but in a positive light, not in a negative light. Okay. New person here could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm getting a Gemini here. There's going to be an important decision because a lot of you are going to have two options here. Okay. You're going to have two options. And this is why what you don't see coming is the two of wands. So tell me more about this person. Yeah. Earth sign Capricorn Virgo Taurus, this person who's coming into your life, they are generous. They are professional, responsible, and practical, a successful time. Uh, confidently accepting opportunities you're offered the Midas touch. So this is somebody who, you know, when they touch you, you're like, wow, they have magic hands. And this is somebody that when you first meet them, they're not going to be all that in a bag of chips. They're just going to be okay. But if you're able to really develop with this person over time, it could lead to a lot of abundance. This person, the King of earth is somebody who, This is somebody who has the potential to be very, very generous with you and successful over time. And this is where the decision becomes challenging because a lot of you question this new person who's coming in. I see you meeting this person in the month of September. September is a big month for you because Mercury retrograde is there in your health area. This could be somebody who comes in and helps you with your health. They help ground you. They help you recognize what you need to become better and grow because the earth energy is about planting seeds, right? And growing. So I feel like this person is going to come into your life. You're going to be asking a lot of questions. There's going to be two people here that come in. One of these people has the potential to grow. So it's important that you choose wisely here. Okay. That's what I'm seeing for you. Tell me more about this new person. This person is going to be somebody who's at a distance. Okay. Or they could be from a different culture than you. Yeah. This is somebody who could be foreign. Like they have an accent. I'm seeing September 5th, September 2nd, and the 25th is a really important uh, date for you. Okay. So those are days that you may want to mark on the calendar. Ask a question, get an answer. You can ask your question in the live feed, or you can comment it below. No need to worry. I feel like this is a yes for you. Okay. This is a yes. If you keep worrying about it, it's a no, but if you just allow things to just manifest, they will come for you, but don't worry about it. Okay. If you want some information about your financial situation, Mercury retrograde is going to be a perfect time for you because we have Ge uh, Gemini here across pollinate number three. A lot of you need to learn how to collaborate. Okay. So if you're somebody who just works alone all the time, 
start finding like-minded people, create some sort of mastermind group that is going to allow you to expand your financial horizons, expand your opportunities, because a lot of you are not doing that. You're just focused on yourself. And this is what's creating some sort of uncertainty in your financial life because you're being very independent here. Okay. So there's definitely something here about cross pollinating, working with other people and using your communication skills. So if you're somebody who is into writing or you're not, you may want to start writing maybe a book, or you may want to be doing more broadcasting, more social media that can really enhance your career. Okay. And your financial situation. So Aries, this is what I have for you. We're going to move on to the next sign. We're going to move on to the sign of Taurus. If you're just tuning in, please be kind enough and go and hit the like button. Okay, make friends with the like button. We need at least 10,000 likes on this video to keep the series going. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want more of these lovely readings, you're gonna wanna make sure you subscribe, okay? All right, let's move on to Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Sun, moon, or rising. Check out your sun, your moon, and rising. This is for Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. Taurus, this is happening in your fifth house, okay? So this is about your romantic life. I definitely see somebody coming here back from the past or something connected to your past coming back. There could be, you know, some of you haven't spoken to your children. If you have children, they may be coming back. You may hear from your children. There may also be memories connected to a pet here, okay? During the Venus retrograde or Mercury retrograde, excuse me. There's definitely something here about romance, learning a big lesson or correcting something connected to your romantic life. I also see romance coming in for you. This is definitely about someone from the past, okay? Because they're showing up in your past. Wow, okay. Yes, chariot at the bottom of the deck. So this is what you don't see coming. Something's finally gonna move forward for you. Tell me about the person from the past. Tell me about the future person. Wow, okay. Will there be a reconciliation for Taurus in the near future with this person from the past? Okay, Taurus. Okay, so in the past, you have the Six of Cups, the Lovers, and the Three of Wands. So in the recent past, I do feel that there was a very strong connection with you and a particular person. There was a lot of promises here. We're gonna move forward. We're gonna have a great life. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna, you know, any struggles or anything that comes up between us, we're gonna always be together. There was a lot of happy times between you and this person. Lots of passion, lots of chemistry here in the past. Tell me more about the past for Taurus. What happened here? What happened with Taurus in the recent past? Yeah, so there was a breakup here and a separation and there started to become negative patterns, okay? Um, I do feel that somebody here had issues closing things out with you in the past and there's been a lot of memories about this person. Because this person promised you so much in the past and they ended up failing to do that, there's been a lot of pain here, okay, from the past and that hasn't really been resolved for many of you. Some of you have resolved this, but others of you haven't and this is what this Mercury retrograde is about. It's 
It's about learning how to navigate love, romance, you know, what is acceptable to you and what's not acceptable to you. This is about creating boundaries. Somebody can promise you the world, Taurus. It doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen. I think one of the things that you're learning during this Mercury retrograde is to have standards, to have boundaries, and to also do things that are practical. So even if somebody says to you, Hey, you know, I'm going to love you forever. I'm never going to let you go. And that ends up happening. That's a lesson that you're learning. You're learning not to just hear words, but rather to see concrete action. And this is what you learn from the past. Now in the present moment, you have the fool here. So there's definitely a brand new beginning that's coming in for you. It's really positive. I feel like this is um, definitely connected to a risk. Whoever it is that you're attracting this, by the way, whoever you're attracting their soulmate, okay? They are somebody that they're going to want you to take a risk here. And this is going to be a part of your lesson because even though this person comes in and it feels good and you're like, Ooh, you know, I feel good. This may be the one again, you're being tested. So instead of rushing into this, you really need to think about it. Yeah. Talking. So somebody here's talking, they're blabbing. Oh babe, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. We're going to, and remember that's what happened in the past. You and this person, whoever this person is, especially if this is a new person, there's going to be a lot of messages back and forth. Okay. Over the next few weeks, if it hasn't happened, it will happening. Uh, it will happening. It will happen. There's going to be a lot of talking. Okay. Sunglasses. Yes. This is what you need to be careful of because somebody here may be hiding who they really are. Um, if you're dealing with someone from the past, they, you know, I'm getting this stalking energy in the present moment. Like somebody is one person's focusing out while the other person's super, super engaged. But it, I get a sense in the present moment, Taurus, you're moving on. It's like you're moving towards something new here. Tell me more. Stabbed in the back. Yes. So if you haven't closed things out with someone from the past, this is what uh, Mercury retrograde in the fifth house is all about your romantic life. This is about being able to say no when something is not for you. Some of you, I'm just going to put this out there. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but some of you are stringing somebody along. And the more you do that, the more you block the energies of new love coming in. So that could be an important message for you. Now in the near future, there is going to be a very strong possibility that you're going to attract the type of energy that you want. If this is about your career, I see your career being enhanced by collaborating. So the more you collaborate with other people, the more money you're going to make. I see 922 on the clock. So you're going to want to check out the message for 922. Somebody here wants to get very clear on um, things with you. Okay. Some of you are going to be clearing the air with somebody here who's been extremely narcissistic, somebody who, um, used you and charmed you. Okay. So this is about closing that chapter out and recognizing that that person was not for you. And this is what's making room for you to attract better connections and better opportunities. If you've had a hard time attracting certain people, like new people, better financial situation, etc., It's because a lot of you didn't close things out with someone who's been very narcissistic and abusive to you. Um, so this is about clearing that air. And once you clear the air there, it's going to make room for something new. I see a lot of success in your career. Once you learn from the past, there is going to be somebody here in your work or someone you collaborate with that you are really passionate about. Okay. So this is about closing something out. Now the person from the past, there was a third party. Okay. There was a lot of this seduction. There was a lot of flirting. This person got bored sexually with you. Okay. I'm just going to keep it real. Um, I'm not here to pretend and, and, you know, um, make you feel good in the readings. I'm here to tell you the truth so you can get better. That's the whole point of me existing here. Um, so I feel like in the past there was a third party. There was someone who either looks sexier than you or better than you or, um, this person was just really charmed by this person. You started to see this person for who they were. It broke your heart because the queen of cups is here. So you gave a lot of love to this person. They promised you a lot. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot of karma here. There's a lot of karma here. Something came to light. It wasn't good, but it set you free. Okay. Here in the past. Yeah. That's what happened here. Tell me more about this past person. Soulmates. You thought this was your soulmate. Cause they portrayed as if they were your soulmate, um, healing heart. You're still getting over the fact that this person cheated or lied on you. Yeah. Broken heart. Again, you got that twice healing heart, broken heart. And there's the five of cups here in the past. 
I don't feel you're going to reconcile with this person. In fact, I feel like a soulmate, the real soulmate is going to come in because in the present moment, you have the king of pentacles and you have the queen of pentacles. So this is you matching somebody who matches you. So if you're somebody who hasn't been working on yourself, you let yourself go. You need to start working on yourself again. Okay. If you're a rising Virgo, this is going to be really good. Or if you're rising sign is Virgo. This is going to be a time where you start to work on yourself. Some of you are Taurus, but you're a rising Virgo. Uh, and when you start to work on yourself and become confident again, because that's what you're going to be doing, focusing on your career. This is when you attract this person and this person who's coming in, they're an earth sign like you Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm getting an Aquarius here, Leo and Taurus again, two Tauruses here, um, that I'm seeing for you. So this person really hurts you. Is there a reconciliation here? Choose a new direction. No, exactly. That's what I was getting. So this person from the past really, really used you. Like they used you, they didn't appreciate you. Um, and they really broke your heart. And I think a lot of you learned from this person not to just listen to words because somebody here blabs, you know, they flap their gums and they think that that's enough to keep you. And it's not, uh, being consistent in love means showing that it means taking actions, um, and being consistent in love. Okay. And somebody here became over consumed by the, the carnal, the carnal, um, urges, which means, you know, overly sexualized. Um, and it's not this relationship that this person, if this person left you for someone else, it's not going to last. I'm just going to keep it real. I mean, it's none of my business and it really shouldn't matter to you, but I think a lot of you are asking, well, are they going to end up staying together? Probably not because if it's only lust, it may not last forever. Okay. So there's a big lesson here for you. The new person is someone who's going to help you heal and become confident again. And I see this new person that's coming in as someone that you've already married or you're in the process of marrying them. Tell me more about this person. Yeah. Ocean of queen, this person matches your emotions. So they're tender hearted, empathic, patient, and loving. Whereas the other person from the past wasn't, you have relationship develops to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. Again, don't let yourself go. A lot of you get comfortable in relationships and you start to let yourself go. And this is why the other person ends up seeking outside of the relationship. So you need to constantly work on yourself. That's one of the reasons why relationships don't work out because people lose the confidence. They get comfortable. You know, they sit on the couch, they eat a bag of chips and they just become a mess. Okay. So, you know, it's really important that you're constantly working on yourself in order to maintain the relationships or marriages or marriage that you end up being in. You are going to be moving forward. Okay. With this person. This person could be a cancer. They're going to take their time. They're not going to rush because they want to get to know you. I see you meeting this person in the month of November. November is going to be a big month for you. Big month. November is when you're going to meet this person. Check out, um, the 5th of November, the 4th, the 1st, okay, is going to be, and, and again, don't pretend to be something you're not. Just be yourself, okay? So if you're somebody who goes on dates and you put this persona on, you don't need to do that. Just be yourself, okay? There's no need to do that because this person wants to see who they're really dealing with. Um, this is about you being authentic. I'm getting a really authentic energy here. Again, number four, November 4th, November 9th is gonna be a big, big, those are big days for you that you need to watch and look out for. Tell me about this person from the past. I just want to get one more message here for you. The warrior. Yeah, this is about you overcoming the hurt and pain from a relationship in the past. The more you overcome this by working on your confidence, the more you're going to be able to move on from it. Okay. Your financial situation is about your health. This is about working on your health over the next few weeks and also working on organizing your life. The more you organize your life and the more you plant seeds, um, in different projects. So this is about not just focusing on one project, but having multiple projects. This is what's going to enhance your financial situation and also service oriented jobs. Okay. So, or, um, projects. So if you're doing a business, it should be service oriented. Uh, the more certain you can look up online, what a service oriented business is like, this could be serving food. This could be doing some sort of service to humanity. That's, what's going to increase your financial situation. Okay. Now ask your question, get an answer. You can ask your question in the live feed, or you can comment it below. If you're not watching this live, is it a yes or no for Taurus? Is it a yes or no for Taurus? Yes, this is a yes. You need to trust more. Okay. So Taurus this is what I have for you. We're going to move on to the sign of Gemini now. Okay. 
If you're just tuning in, please hit the like button so we can carry on doing these all signs readings. I know I haven't been doing them for a while, but we're going to continue doing them. I need your support guys. Okay. If you want me to be here and continue to be here, you need to support the channel by subscribing and also commenting. We need 10,000 likes on the video, 500 comments below to keep this series going. Okay. All right, so we're going to be doing Gemini now. Gemini's up. Okay, Gemini. Oh, the fool popped out. Some of you are going to be having a new beginning, okay, over the next few weeks. There could be a new person or a new beginning that's coming into your life. Okay, past person, new person. What you don't see coming, three of swords. Some of you still need to work on some sort of painful event or situation that happened to you. Now, this is happening, this Mercury retrograde is happening in your uh, fourth house, okay? So Gemini, rising, Cancer, Leo, yeah. So this is happening in your fourth house. This is about you healing some sort of past pain connected to your family life. This could have been neglect from a parent, neglect from a partner. There could be something here about your, your home, you know, still needing to heal from something that happened here. Um, I do feel for many of you, there is this energy, uh, that happened in the past where there was a painful ending, like a really painful ending. And you wanted to make sense of why something here ended very badly. It took you some time to move on from something here that affected you really badly in the past, but you eventually moved on from this. And you've started to finally get clear on why something needed to come to an end. Okay. This is about an end of an era. So this past, um, ending that happened, it wasn't for you. It wasn't meant to last. Okay. Um, at one point there was a lot of stability between you and this person and you thought it was going to last forever, but you started to realize more and more that it wasn't meant for you. Okay. And there was this feeling here of, this person avoiding you. And no matter how much you tried to resolve things with this person, they were constantly angry at you and they never really wanted to resolve things with you. So you felt alone here in the past and you felt like you had no other choice but to go forward on your own in the past. Now, in the present moment, there's a strong energy here of being alone. Even if you are in a relationship with someone, there's a lot of this balancing energy of needing to balance lust with ego and with manipulation. Somebody here could be very manipulative in the present moment or very confident either or. There's a marriage here or an engagement that's taking place, but you need to be careful because as quick as something starts is as quick as it may end. Somebody here is super self-absorbed and there's a lot of mirroring in the present moment. So the reason why you're really attracted to this person, and I'm seeing 933 on the clock, check out 933 uh, on the clock to get you know more information about this. In order for this relationship to succeed, if you're already in a relationship, you need to recognize why this person's doing what they're doing. Somebody here is doing something and it's really annoying. Okay. And the reason why it's annoying is because they're mirroring you. Okay. So everything that this person's doing, they're mirroring you. And if you take it personally, which is some of you will take it personally, it may come to an end. And this is why Mercury retrograde is happening in the fourth house. Some of you are actually, um, you're actually married to this person or you're in some form of a relationship with this person. 
Some of you are having a hard time giving this person a second chance for something that they did. Okay, so this is about recognizing why a relationship is one-sided. What are you doing or what is this person doing to cause that? Tell me more about this present moment energy. Yeah, be lighthearted, finding things out, coming to light. Yeah, some of you are going to find something out here if you haven't already during the Mercury retrograde. So this is something that you need to be aware of. Okay, yeah. And you have clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. So this is about talking with this person. Yeah, this is about talking about your differences and working through the issues. Um, so there is a possibility here for things to get better, but some of you are going to end a relationship because there's a lot of this not being able to see both sides. Uh, somebody here is extremely self-indulgent here. Okay. Now, if somebody here is still hurt from something from the past and they have not resolved it, this is why there's issues and you may disconnect from this relationship. Some of you still need to disconnect from a past relationship correctly. So if you just left somebody and you didn't close the door, it is going to seep. That energy is going to seep into your new relationship. So you need to work on that. This is what Mercury retrograde is doing in the fourth house. Some of you still have unresolved issues with someone you have children with or some unresolved issues in your family. And this is something that you're being called to talk about. Okay. In the near future, there is an offer of love coming in. If you're asking that there could be an apology here to set things right, because what I see in the near future, there's a lot of competition and this is what's hindering your relationship or hindering just your love life in general. Okay. So you need to close something out here. And I feel somebody from your past is going to call or message or communicate because they haven't let you go. And this is what's creating some sort of blocked energy. Your reading is very, very straightforward. Yeah. So breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Some of you are not talking to the person from the past and this is affecting your current relationship. Yep. You're dating somebody new. You're dating someone new. Insane chemistry. You really like somebody, but you also have to remember if this is just sexual. Okay. That's not good. Okay. So here's the thing. Some of you are attracting someone new, but it may only be physical attraction. If you are looking for something to last longer, the relationship needs to be more in depth. Okay. And that could be something that you're working on. I see you dating. A lot of you still need to clear something out from the past. Someone from your past is going to call. Okay. Um, this person's still holding on to you. They haven't completely let you go. Is there going to be a reconciliation with this person in the past from the past? Is there a reconciliation for Gemini? Choose a new direction. This is a no. Okay. So yeah, you just need to close things out. Um, a lot of you don't know how to do this and you're being called to ask for your angels. Okay. To help you. So make sure you're doing that. Okay. The new person, um, you're going to be attracting either a Taurus, a Libra. I'm getting a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person's trying to make an offer to you, but the reason why they're having a hard time is because for many of you, this person sees you being very busy. You still have a lot on your plate that you need to clear first in order to make room for a relationship. If you're having issues in a new relationship, okay, whether whenever you watch this, you need to make sure that there's a balance in your relationship. So if you're overworking and you're not giving time to love, that's something that you need to consider. You learned in the past how to truly accept something for what it is in the past. I feel like this person that you were dealing with in the past really helped you be, to become successful. Um, and, you know, I'm not trying to say that you... Um, I'm not trying to say that you owe this person anything. What I feel here is that in order for you to completely move forward, you need to talk to this person and let them go correctly. Three and nine, three is the number of communication and nine is ending cycles. So even though you're not going to end up being with this person, this person contributed to some sort of success for you. And this is about you, you know, recognizing their role in your life, not necessarily feeling like you're going to be with them forever, but recognizing their role and just saying, okay, I recognize why you came in my life and what it's going to mean for us to move forward. So this is about ending cycles connected to your family life. This is very much connected to a family situation. The new person, I feel like there's someone who's going to be very well balanced. They're going to help you to plant new seeds. Okay. In your career. 
This is somebody who you can be with potentially forever. Okay. You, when are you meeting this person? Let me pull a random card. When are you meeting this person? You still need to release someone from the past. Okay. This new per you're not going to be able to move forward with this person until you release the person from the past. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So you're going to move on with this person. When, when is Gemini moving on with them? Some of you are going to have a child with this person. This is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is somebody who really wants a relationship with you. I see you meeting this person in November. I'm seeing November 1st, November 4th, November 2nd, November 13th and 3rd is really strong here. Spirit is giving you enough time over the next few months. So September and October to clear something from the past. When you finally clear this situation from the past correctly, that's when this person's going to be ready to move forward with you. Okay. So let's see if it's um, a yes or no. Actually, what's your financial message? You have number 12 Pisces. This is about getting more in touch with your spiritual side. You could be doing tarot. You could be doing astrology. There's something here about the 12th house. So, you know, art, music here. This is about you also recognizing that by using art, music, creative mind, you can make more money that way. Being more sensitive, being more connected with your emotions is really going to help you to manifest that. And these are things that are not conventional. These are things like art, music, abstract art, painting, uh, anything to do with spirituality, counseling is a big thing that can really help increase your financial situation. Okay. So is it a yes or no for you? Is it a yes or no for you? You can ask your question in the live or comment below. Is it a yes or no for you? Forgiveness. I feel like it is a yes, but if you're not willing to forgive, and again, there's something here about closing things out with someone from the past. If you ended things really bad with this person, you know, writing a letter, um, talking to them, if you can doing a burning bowl, I, you know, I'm really getting talking to them and asking for forgiveness or giving forgiveness is going to be really important. So the answer is yes, but you need to forgive and let live. That's what I'm getting here for you. Okay. So Gemini, this is what I have for you. We're going to move on to cancer now. Please hit the like button. We need at least 10,000 likes to keep this series going. All right. And 500 comments below. Okay, so we're going to move on to the sign of cancer now. Sun, moon, or rising. Okay, if you're just tuning in, the uh, links are going to be below. After the live, you can check them out. So if you're in a hurry to jump and skip through the video, this is on live now. So you're not going to be able to do that. So just keep that in mind, okay? So let's move on to cancer now. Tell me about cancer. Justice. Okay. There could be a divorce or there could be something here about shared property, setting something right here, bringing something here back into balance in the future. Uh, past, uh, the past energy here, you have the star, the ACE of wands and the four of cups. You, um, in the past cancer, 
you ended up being with someone that you didn't really like. Okay. 944 on the clock, check out 944 to get more information. You ended up being with someone that you kind of liked here. You gave this person a chance. They helped you heal. They helped you move forward here in the past is what I'm getting. Tell me more. You had a really beautiful new beginning. You felt stabbed in the back in the past by this person. This person promised you a lot. Um, you realized that you made the wrong decision when it came to this person. And as a result of that, there was a breakup because this person, there was something very unhealthy about this relationship in the past. You swept it under, under the rug. You started to ignore this person in the past and it was really hard for you to heal from this. Okay. You did feel like this was your soulmate, but it ended up not being that. In the present moment, you are moving forward and it's been a lot. It's taken a lot of, um, it's taken a very big toll on you. This person did something to you that made you start to feel like they were selfish. They were really self focused. Um, there was a lot of this chemistry at the beginning, like you in the present moment are saying to yourself, I can't believe this happened because I felt like this person was somebody that I was going to move forward with and be with for the rest of my life. Um, I do feel with the hermit energy here, there's a really strong energy of going within right now and recognizing what's going to make you happy. So I do see a single energy here. Now, if you're in a relationship, there is a lot of this mirroring narcissistic energy, and a lot of you are recognizing it's time to move forward. But the problem that's stopping you from moving forward from this person is the fact that there is a lot of passion here between you and them. There's a lot of passion here between you and them. Um, and there could be a very strong sexual energy. And I think a lot of you want more. Okay. Now this mercury is retrograding in your third house. So this is about the way you communicate, the way you express what it is that you want. If you're somebody who's not expressing what it is that you want, you're learning now that that's something that you need to work on. Okay. And this is why you're spending a lot of time on your own. You're trying to get over somebody here who took advantage of you. Somebody here who promised the world they ended up being self-focused, self-driven, narcissistic narcissistic and you're learning to move on from that. You're seeing somebody for who they really are in the present moment. And it's really painful. It's really painful because you at one point said, I thought we were going to be together forever. It's like this person was a snake. Some of you had to compete for this person's attention. There could have been another woman. Okay. That's what I'm seeing in the present moment. In the near future, you're going to work on yourself. You're going to move into a completely new direction. You're still going to reminisce about the past, but you're solely going to let go of it by focusing on yourself. Be careful not to repeat outdated scenarios in your mind, because that may block you from being able to move forward into this new direction. This new direction um, is very much connected to you letting go of the past. And you need to be careful if you're trying to go back with someone from the past, a lot of you are going to be like, you're going to spend more time with your friends and you're going to be focusing on your friends. And this is going to help you move into a new direction. I do see somebody here coming back from the past. Okay. If you allow them. Okay. So if you keep that door open, there's going to be a lot of this chasing, like this runner chaser, like back and forth. So just be careful of that. In the future, you're focusing on yourself. There's a lot of that. You're going to be going through the rising Phoenix. I recommend looking up what the meaning of the rising Phoenix is for you. A new phase, rekindle, renew, transform, growth, and change. There could be this in and out, on and off between you and this person for a few months. Some of you are just going to close the door on this person. Others of you are going to keep the door open. So just be careful of that. Yeah. Recognize that something here is done in the near future. This is something that you need to be aware of. Now in the past, okay, this past person, I'm just going to say this and I'm, I'm really getting a strong message for you. You need to be careful of someone from the past because they don't want to see you happy with someone else. They want to see you alone and by yourself. Okay. Um, this person, whoever it is that you, um, were dealing with, they're a snake. There's somebody who's constantly competing with you. They're trying to be better than you. They're trying to do better than you. Um, they think they're better than you. So you need to be careful of this because this person wants to get you back for something. I don't know what you did. Um, but you did something that really hurt this person's ego and they're trying to get you back. They see you ascending. They see you doing better. They see you moving towards new love. They see you working towards your happiness and 
this person, what they really need is to heal themselves. They need to really and truly just heal themselves. And that's something that they need to work on. Um, so this person from the past, I don't see you getting back together with them. In fact, I see you cutting them off for the right reasons, um, but they don't wanna see you happy. So you need to be careful not to leave the door open. Some of you wanna be friends with your ex, not recommended, okay? Is this person coming back for cancer? Are they coming back? Oops. Communicate clearly. So I feel like this could be a yes or no, but I'm intuitively getting a no here. I do feel like in order to keep this person at bay and to move toward, cause you are moving towards new love. This person knows that they feel that they're like, Oh no, you know, um, cancer is going to move towards new love. They're going to be with someone else that bothers them. It really, really bothers them. So this person is going to reach out during the Mercury retrograde, but I think you are going to recognize you need to set boundaries because I think what's really important for you is to ascend from this, to move on from this because it's really affected you. I do see a few months. This is going to replay over and over again in your mind, and it's going to be something here that really affects you from moving on. Um, but I do see a divorce or I see some sort of balance, rebalancing in your life that's going to come in for you. What is the lesson here from the past person? Like, what did you need to learn from this person? What did you need to learn from this person? Rigid, yeah. A lot of you, I feel like it was really, it was really clear that this person wasn't for you like a long time ago and you kind of just kept this going. Um, this is about you recognizing the signs when something isn't for you. Because a lot of you ended up sticking with something here that you knew it wasn't for you, but it's like you kept going back and going back and there was a message, there was signs, there was synchronicities here. So this is about listening to your intuition. This is what you learned from this past situation to listen to your intuition and not just to, you know, um, ignore it. Tell me more about the new person. So the new person is somebody who could be a Leo here I'm getting, could be another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person that you're attracting is someone is, who is super successful. They're very well known in their career and what they do. This person is gonna see that you're still not over something from the past and they're gonna help you realize what it's gonna take for you to bring balance back into your life. This is somebody who's also went through a breakup divorce um, and this is what draws you and them, to you and this person together. Tell me more about this person. The sun, yes, it's a Leo that you're attracting, sun, moon, or rising, okay? This is someone who's big, bigger than life. Um, there's somebody who brings a lot of joy and happiness to your life. They bring a lot of this illumination and light. And I see you meeting this person. You know, some of you have already met this person. Some of you may not meet this person until next year. And the reason why I say that is because if you're going through a breakup right now, you're going to need time. You're going to need like nine months to get over this. Um, especially if this was a long-term relationship, I do see you moving into a new direction in December. December is going to be a huge month for you. You're going to start feeling better around that time. I know that's a long time for you. Um, November is also a really important month for you. So November 5th, I see for you, November 9th, November 1st, August 9th, August 1st, August 19th for you. Um, tell me more about this new person. They're super successful, whoever this person is that you're attracting. Who's this new person? Ooh, this person is really successful. They could have a mansion. They're very self-confident. This is someone who has a big house or they have really like antiques and stuff in their house. This is somebody who's really well-dressed. Um, again, I see you meeting this person on the 4th. On the 3rd of November, I'm getting September or December here. Okay, April is also important for you as well. Okay, so your financial message is Capricorn. Uh, Cancer, the way in which you're going to achieve more financial abundance is by you being disciplined. You need to be disciplined, okay? Um, you doing things, you know, whenever you want to do, it's not going to work like that. Your success happens when you have one focus and one focus only. You need to create a schedule for yourself. Um, that's the only way you can truly achieve. And this is something, by the way, you achieve success over the long haul, okay? Because if you're a rising Cancer, your seventh house is ruled by Capricorn, which means Capricorn needs to work extremely hard in order to get what they want. If they're not working hard towards what they want, it becomes more difficult. Your success comes through yourself, not through others. It comes through your hard work, 
creating a schedule and having discipline. And if you do that, your financial situation will increase and you will achieve more. Okay. So let's see if it's a yes or no for you. You can ask your question in the live feed or you can comment it below. Is it a yes or no for cancer? It's a yes, but you need to recognize perfect timing. Okay. So you cannot rush, you know, intuitively when the time is right, if you're rushing something and you're questioning something, then you're not listening to your intuition. And this is what, this is why you went through what you went through, because instead of listening to your intuition, you ignored it. And as a result of that, you didn't see the perfect timing. If you allow something to manifest on its own and you go with the flow and you listen to your intuition, I feel like this is going to be a yes for you. Okay. So cancer is what I have for you. We're going to move on to the sign of, ooh, we're going to move on to the sign of Leo now. Okay. Sun, moon or rising. If you're just tuning in, we need 10,000 likes on this video to keep the series going. Please go ahead and hit that like button to keep the series going. Comment below, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you are leaving a comment. Okay. All right. Okay, let's move on to the sign of Leo, sun, moon, arising. Tell me about Leo. Okay, the past person, the new person. Okay, what you don't see coming, the four of wands. For you, Leo, over the next few weeks, months, whenever you decide to watch this, there's going to be a marriage, a real connection coming in for you. I see a family being created here. Um, I see you and somebody being very enamored by one another. I see children. Okay. Um, if you don't have children or you've always wanted them, I do see them here. Um, I do see a dragonfly here. So you're going to want to look up what the spiritual meaning of a dragonfly is. This could be very much connected to your future. Now in the past, you have the 10 of wands, the judgment and the ace of swords. You found something out. Something in the past started to become extremely difficult for you and you wanted clarity on it. I do feel like you learned a very big lesson here in the past when it came to something here that started to become very difficult. Tell me more about the past for Leo. Some of you needed to learn in the past how to set boundaries with someone. There was a separation in the past, but during the separation period, you started to get clear on what it was that you wanted in the past. Some of you were dealing with a narcissist or somebody who was overwhelmed by their own personal success or the things that were important to them. This is what made your relationship really uh, difficult. And a lot of you started to realize that you wanted to focus on attracting stability and success into your life. So you got really clear on why something here happened, why a separation happened here in the past. Now in the present moment, there's a new opportunity. There's an engagement. You're going to get married. There's going to be an end to this inconsistency. So if you've been in love and there's been inconsistency happening in your love life, that's coming to an end. And there's that dragonfly. Look at this in the present moment, you got dragonfly. And I said that, right? Remember I said, there's something here connected to your future about a dragonfly and look, there's the confirmation. I don't make this up. Okay. So you need to look up the dragonfly because the dragonfly is talking about how you need to approach love in the present moment. If you're somebody who's forcing love, if you're somebody who's always trying to be in control, if you're somebody who can't 
be flexible or adopt, you're going to have problems here. Okay. And this is why a relationship as quick as it starts, it ends. Um, so you need to be lighthearted. Okay. And allow things to flow, allow somebody to come to you. Don't chase this person. Um, if you've been dealing with someone in the present moment, who's been inconsistent, uh, emotionally, that's going to come to an end because a lot of you are focusing on what you love and what you enjoy doing. Okay. Your career over the next few weeks is going to have a very big impact on you because Mercury is going to be retrograding in your second house in Virgo. So this is about you focusing on your creation, your ability to create uh, from yourself. Okay. This is about reviewing things. So reviewing projects. Um, some of you have unfinished projects that you still need to finish. When you finish these projects around the end of Mercury retrograde, I see them being extremely successful and profitable for you. There is going to be an engagement or a marriage. Okay. So if you're planning on getting married or engaged, this is confirmation. Uh, if there's been inconsistency between you and this person, that's going to come to an end in the near future. What comes to an end is the lying, the cheating, the stealing, not being able to trust. And there's going to be a new love or a new energy here of forgiveness in the near future. It looks really positive for you. Tell me more about the future for Leo. There's a lot of talking with you and this person. Whew, look at this wedding rings, baby. Yeah. Union, wedding, marriage, uh, soul connection, eternal love, existing, um, everlasting promise. Whoever this person is in the future, you're going to be with them forever. This is your soulmate. This is the person that you are meant to be with. This person's going to express to you how much they love you. Okay. You have love calls. So this is somebody who really loves you and wants to be with you. They're going to send you a message. They're always thinking about you 24 seven. This person's really interested. They're waiting for your messages. This person literally sits by the phone and looks at the phone like this. Like did Leo message me yet? <laughs> this is the, this person's really, um, they're constantly looking at your messages. Okay. Um, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. Some of you have trust issues when it comes to this new person. You don't need to be in trust issues because this person is the one you're getting all positive cards here. And at the bottom of the deck, you're getting wedding rings twin flame. Okay. So this is somebody that you're going to grow with. It's not going to be perfect all the time. There's going to be insecurities that come up, trust issues, but that's going to come to an end because this person starts to be consistent with you. And this is what you don't see coming. The fact that there is going to be, um, an everlasting promise, a marriage, a commitment, children involved. Some of you still need to heal. Okay. From something here from the past. And I feel like that's what you're going to be doing now. Let's talk about the person from the past. Now, some of you are dealing with, um, somebody who comes across like an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, this person is wanting to have a new beginning with you. This person from the past, I feel like there is going to be a reconciliation with this person from the past. I feel like this person's extremely passionate with you. And this is somebody who, you know, with the wheel of fortune, they're a part of your destiny. They're very analytical stabbed in the back. Okay. What else? Wedding rings. Girl talk. Yeah. This person is somebody who hurts you. Okay. But you're going to be forgiving them. There was a separation or there was a deception. This person really thought about how they treated you and they are realizing that you're the one it took a separation. It took disconnection for this person to realize that you were the one there is a new beginning. I feel like this new beginning is happening in August. Okay. Um, if it doesn't happen in August, it's going to happen in the month of January. January is a big month for you and this person. Will there be a reconciliation between Leo and this person from the past? Yeah. I did say that there will be. Okay. A lot of you are getting married to this person and there's going to be a lot of forgiveness between you and them. I see marriage again, it's popping out. Um, so I see you getting married to them. Okay. What was the lesson here that you needed to learn with this person from the past? Focus. You learn to focus not only on the relationship, but to focus on yourself and how to actually maintain a relationship here. There was a lot of this uncertainty here in the past, but a lot of you learned that by focusing 
on what it is that you truly want, you could have it. And I think that this is what's happening for you. You're reconciling with this person. A lot of you are reconciling with someone from the past, okay? And again, if you're watching this and you're like, no, I'm not reconciling, then it's not your reading, okay? But for those of you who are asking, it looks really good for you and this person. Now, if you're talking about new love, I feel there's somebody who comes into your life, th there's a lot of love bombing here with a new person, okay? So just be careful of that. Somebody here uh, makes promises, there's somebody who, um, when they're in the moment, they act very emotional, but then they have a hard time taking action and they abandon you. Okay. I'm getting this strong energy of that. So you need to make sure that you are, um, recognizing the confidence in, within yourself. So if you're somebody who has low confidence and you're giving and giving and giving without getting, and some of you watching this, like you have Taurus in your chart, you could be a rising Taurus or a moon Taurus and be a sun Leo, or you have a stellium in Taurus. And this is about your value. Okay. So there could be a lot of love bombing here. Just be careful of that with this new person. Do not give a hundred percent to somebody who only just talks and doesn't show actions healing heart. Some of you are healing from someone new who hurt you. Somebody here, um, they like they're mirroring something like you're learning something from this person. It says healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. Some of you are dealing with someone who's an alcoholic, like they're self-sabotaging here. Um, and you took a risk on this person or you are taking a risk on this person and they're not showing their hand. They, they have, some of you are dealing with the two faced person. So you need to be careful of that. And this is about you working on yourself. So if you're not dealing with someone from the past and you're trying to attract new love, this is about you focusing on, um, not just allowing anybody into your life because some of you are just letting anybody in and that's not recommended. Okay. Um, if you are wanting to know who you're attracting, you're attracting a water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Taurus, you have the page of water in reverse. So you have to be careful of this new person. Again, I feel like this new person is not going to be the ultimate person you end up being with. Um, because they have, again, they have a two faced energy. When are you going to meet this person? Some of you have already met this person. You met this person in May, even though again, this is like a new energy. Some of you are going to meet this person in October. Okay. On October 9th, it's a very strong energy here. Be very careful of this person. Ace of air. This person's not clear. Okay. There's somebody who lies. So I'm just going to, that's a warning. This new person's a warning. Okay. To you. Um, so that's something you need to be aware of. Okay. Your financial situation. How can you improve it? You have, um, Uranus. Okay. So this is about taking risks. This is about doing things that are non-conventional. This is about working with certain people. Some of you are going to be in a relationship with someone and you're going to be doing unconventional work with this person, like things that are not in the mainstream. So if you're doing something that's not in the mainstream, I see it being very successful for you. Um, but this is about you collaborating with people. This is about partnerships, not working alone, but collaborating and doing things that are non-conventional. So if you're doing stuff that is mundane, that's conventional, everybody's doing it. That's not recommended. Do something that's outside of the box. All right. Um, oop. said, ask your angels. That's not the card for you. Um, let's see if it's a yes or no for you. You can ask your question in the live or comment below. Is it a yes or no for you? I feel like this is a yes. Um, there will be a peaceful resolution. There's going to be a talk. Um, so I do feel like this is a yes for you. Okay. So Leo, this is what I have for you. We're going to move on to Virgo now. So Virgo, happy birthday. Um, if you're just tuning in, please hit that like button. We need 10,000 likes on the video and 500 comments to keep the series going. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe so that you can get the necessary, um, you know, you can get the necessary notifications knowing when I'm posting. Okay. Timestamps are going to be linked below after the live. Okay. Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. Okay, Virgo. 
You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Ooh, there's something here about a past person that's showing up. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Pentacles. This could be someone you're attracting or there could be an important message for you. You're going through a very um, huge spiritual awakening about somebody here, okay? It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Past here, I feel there was a lot of reevaluating about whether or not you wanted to reconcile with a particular person. I'm getting a Leo here. I'm getting a Capricorn or a Virgo or a Cancer. Um, there was this on and off energy between you and somebody here in the past. And there was a lot of boundaries that were being set here in the past with a particular person. You were questioning your future here in the past and reevaluating a lot of things here. You have karmic relationship. Yeah, um, there was issues with someone from the past. This was somebody here that you needed to learn from. You needed to learn to ascend from this person. At one point, it felt like it was unconditional love, but it turned out that it was a karmic relationship. Somebody here was cheating or they had many options here in the past. And this is what led to a breakup or a disconnect. I feel like some of you ended up staying in a relationship that you knew was done, but you kept going back to it here in the past. Now in the present moment, there's a breakup with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and getting a Scorpio. It's taken a very long time, but there's a breakup. Okay, it's happening. You are learning to evolve from the situation. There has been a lot of separating energy between you and this person. Some of you need to let it go. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it real. Some of you are trying and trying to make something work. Um, but you know, it's slowly breaking down over and over again. And there's a lot of outdated thinking. Some of you are going to rebuild your life with someone new, but it's going to take time. Okay. So there's two stories. Um, I'm seeing 10, 10, and this is why I'm getting two stories because 10, 10 is on the clock. So check out 10, 10 to see what the important message is there for you. You're evolving and you're moving to the next phase. So if just like I said to Gemini, because Mercury is going to be retrograding on your ascendant, if you're a rising Virgo and you should be checking your rising sign. Um, this is about reviewing and revising and changing things about yourself because what's holding you back a lot of the times is yourself. The fact that you don't want to evolve and change and you don't want to grow, that could be a big thing that you need to work on. And this is why you have butterflies. So whoever it is you're attracting in the present moment, they're helping you to evolve and change, but it's taking you time. You're constantly over, um, overthinking things. And instead of overthinking things, it's time for you to recognize what you need to let go of. This Mercury retrograde is about you letting go of things that are not serving you anymore. Okay. So this could be whatever in your life that you need to let go of. And if you don't let go of this situation and you keep holding on to it, it's going to just be cut. It's going to just one day just be cut from you because you know, it needs to end, but you keep you keep feeding something here that's not healthy, um, marriage, addiction, whatever the case may be. And this is why there's a separation for some of you in the present moment. In the near future, there's a new beginning, okay? And this new beginning happens when you start to elevate yourself and work on yourself. I see a lot of financial abundance coming in for you, Virgo, okay? Even though... Um, even though the South node is going to be in Libra, there's still going to be opportunities here for you to enhance your financial situation. If that's your question, some of you still need to heal things with someone here from the past. Okay. Um, there's a lot of envy. There's something here about a third party. So when you have a new beginning, one of the things that you're being called to recognize is, um, if you don't want someone to cheat on you, and I know this is going to sound very superficial, you need to constantly work on yourself, constantly be improving yourself, um, not being codependent on the other person because there's something here about being codependent. Some of you still need to heal your heart from someone here from the past and talk through it and heal things with someone here from the past. The new person could be a Leo, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, I'm also getting a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We're going to talk about this new person in a moment, but first I want to talk about the past person. The reason why the past person has disconnected from you is because they feel rejected by you. They feel that they're questioning the stability of their relationship here. Okay. Or the stability of the relationship wasn't there to begin with. There was a lot of options. Somebody had somebody here was addicted and they couldn't get over their addictions. They made a lot of promises here, but then they had, um, they were two faced here in the past. I feel like a lot of you are not going to reconcile with this person. Okay. 
um, because there's too much rejecting energy and someone here has an addiction. Okay. What did you learn from this? The warrior, you learn to overcome this situation by being a better person within yourself. Is it a yes or no? Are they going to get back together? I feel like it's possible if you work on yourself, if you're somebody who improves your health and works on yourself, it's possible, but I feel for now it's a no. Okay. Um, if you're inquiring about the new person, you are going to be moving forward with someone who's very loving and caring. This is a water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They're trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Um, this is somebody who is very sure of themselves, which is what you need. You're going to be meeting this person in November. Okay. I'm also getting next year in August or April. You also have the moon here. So this could be in June. Okay. Some of you have already met this person and it's looking good. Okay. I'm getting some of you met this person, uh, on June 18th. I'm also getting, um, March 18th, August 18th. Okay. You, you're going to be meeting somebody here. That's really good for you. Okay. If you haven't already, some of you have already met this person. This person has a lot of knowledge, whoever it is that you're meeting, and they can, they have really good connections. Um, if you haven't met this person already, you may meet them on August 31st. I'm getting November, um, I think somewhere at the end of November. And I'm also getting, um, I don't know if there's August 31st. Anyways, it's going to be the 31st day around that time. Okay. So look at the calendar, either November, August, or June, or one of those months that have 31, or if it's not 31, it will be 30, but you're meeting somebody here. Who's really good for you. And you're going to move into a new direction with them. Okay. Your financial situation, you have strength. This is about you climbing the ladder to success. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. Um, I do feel for many of you, this has a lot to do with improving your communication. The more you improve your communication and the more you're assured in your voice and your communication, the more money you're going to make. Okay. And your financial situation can improve. Um, and it's connected to a Leo. There's something here about a Leo, you being connected to a Leo and it's your financial situation is going to improve. Okay. Um, let's ask your question, get an answer. Is it a yes or no for Virgo? Yes or no? I feel like this is a no for you, Virgo. Okay. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope you got something from the reading. We're going to move on to the next sign. Please hit the like button so we can keep this going. Um, we need at least 10,000 likes and 500 comments to keep the series going. Make sure you're subscribed and you are leaving a comment below. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the sign of... Libra. This is a long all signs. Okay. So if you're watching this and you're like, this is too long, it's an in-depth reading. Okay. I'm not going to be doing in-depth readings all the time. Um, it's only when we hit our mark, our quota. So when we meet, when we hit the mark and quota of 10,000 likes and 500 comments, the, um, I, I get into more in-depth readings for you. Okay. So just keep that in mind if you want more detailed readings. Okay. If you want shorter videos, look at the shorts because we're starting to post more shorts. Okay. All right. Libra. You're going to be moving into a new direction in your life. Okay. It's going to be a little bit confusing because a lot of you are going to still want to cling to the past. Um, but you're going to be slowly moving into a new direction and it's one that's going to lead to more abundance for you. Okay. You have two options here. Your past, you had a really strong connection with someone, a really, really strong connection. You felt really confident about yourself. And it was really clear that you were going to be with this person forever in the past. Tell me more about this past person for Libra. There was a lot of communication with you and this person from the past, but you started to drift away from one another over time. 
there was a strong energy here of addiction or codependency. Somebody here was depending on you or you were depending on them. And it started to become obsessive. Somebody here was super obsessive, um, possessive, controlling, and there was some sort of block here. Okay. And as a result of that, you, um, started to move away and drift apart from this person. And there started to be a lot of this, um, uh, messaging back and forth between you and this person. You eventually realized here, uh, Libra, it was time for you to move on and to grow from this situation. That's what I see you did here in the past. In the present moment, you're questioning your future. You're questioning what you've learned up until this point. There's a lot of uncertainty here about your future in the present moment, but you're learning to listen to your intuition more and more and ask the right questions. A lot of you look at this person's photos from the past. A lot of you are overindulgent in yourself. You need to be careful of that. Your Mercury retrograde is happening in your 12th house. So this is about you completely letting go of the past. I feel like after this Mercury retrograde, you're no longer going to be connected to the past. You're going to completely let it go. And you're going to be able to recognize that it's time to move forward. Some of you are going to be getting married very soon. Okay. I'm seeing the month of January. You could get engaged or married. Okay. Um, I also see you're questioning a marriage. So if you're already in a marriage, you're questioning it. Someone here is really self-indulgent. Like they're super focused on themselves. And this could be something here that this person needs to work on. I'm getting something here about pizza. Like somebody here really likes pizza. They're addicted to pizza. I don't know why I'm getting that, but there's something here about that. Um, so you're questioning a lot, a relationship, a marriage. Why is this happening in the present moment for Lib Libra? Yeah, it's because you were hurt by somebody that you thought was your soulmate. And this is why you're questioning this. And it's connected to something here that happened in the past. Now, in the future, things get better for you, okay? Um, especially around November. November is a huge month for you, okay? Um, there's something that's a part of your destiny that's going to come in in November. Things look a little bit bleak right now, okay? Um, because you're questioning things, you're going through a major awakening. A lot of you, the reason why you're being self-indulgent or focusing on yourself a lot, okay, is because... You're afraid of getting hurt and you feel abandoned and you feel like somebody here really didn't see you for who you really were. Okay. Um, and you want a soulmate, you want to attract this type of love in your life. But a lot of you are questioning how you can go about doing that. It's like, you don't know how to do that, hon. You don't have to do anything. It's just going to come naturally. Okay. The, the, the paradise that you're looking for, cause you got the paradise card, happiness. Okay. Expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. That's just going to come. It's not something you need to work for or, or force. Okay. Cause the wheel of fortunes here in the near future. So this is a part of your destiny. This is something that is going to lead to something beautiful and great for you. Tell me more about the wheel of fortune. Okay, this is what you need to let go of. Okay, this is something really important that you need to know, Libra. A lot of you are going to not be yourselves, okay, in the near future. It's like you fake it till you make it. You don't need to do that. Just be yourself, okay? Because whoever this person is that's coming into your life, you have palm tree, okay? And this person is an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And the card that they got was stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. This is somebody who's gonna come into your life and some of you are gonna live by the beach with this person or you're gonna be in some tropical place with this person or a place where there's a lot of heat. And I do feel for many of you, if you are... I'm seeing 1022 on the clock right now. So look up 1022 and you're going to get an important message about your future. There's a warning here because a lot of you are forcing something or you feel like you're in control and you're not. And I did a reading on this for you, just the previous reading I did for you. Something comes into your life that's a part of your destiny and you didn't really do anything for it. It just kind of happens. The reason why there's a separation in the near future possibly, and this is most likely going to happen if you're not aware of what I'm about to tell you, but... The reason why there's a separation is because you're faking it. You're not being yourself. And this person, when they come into your life, they genuinely want you to just be yourself. 
If you come towards this person and you just be yourself, I see you and this person being together forever because you're different. You're attracting someone who's extremely different. And this is why you have the two of wands because you have a choice, right? You have a choice to either be yourself or to fake it till you make it. And this is why there's a separation or someone walks away because they know that you're lying and you're not being honest with them. Don't fake it till you make it. This is about you being genuine. Just be yourself. You don't have to be, you know, somebody that you're not because this is a part of your destiny. So you need to be careful of that because that's what creates a separation in the near future if you're not aware. Now, the person from the past, I don't see you getting to, back together with this person because there's nothing but conflict between you and this person and you reject them anyways. You've learned to focus on yourself when it comes to this person from the past. You have getting clarity on this person. They're, they're a narcissist, okay? There's somebody who promised you love and it never really happened. This person taught you how to love yourself and focus on yourself here, okay? It's a very clear message with this person from the past. You know you're not going back to them. Are they going back? Are they getting back together, this person from the past? In the near future, it's possible, but I'm just going to tell you right now, even though you reconcile with this person, there's nothing but conflict and rejection. And this is somebody who's a karmic. You either learned the lesson or you didn't, okay? The Grim Reaper relationships done. Okay. But they're going to try to come back in the near future. Um, why? Because you have Mercury in the 12th house. So this is your past coming back to haunt you <laughs> in a way. Um, but you're learning to let it go because this person was placed in your life for you to learn how to become abundant. Some of you had to go through this to improve your career or to improve your status. And a lot of you have already done that. The lesson here, what was the lesson here? Fulfillment. Yeah. How to fill your own cup. That's what you learned here in the past. Okay. Yeah. And you became successful. Okay. From this negative experience that you had in the past, this new person is someone who's going to also enhance your financial situation. This is a soulmate because the lovers is here in the near future. And this is going to happen. It is a part of your destiny. This is about you taking a risk. And like I said, being yourself and allowing something to evolve the way it needs to. This relationship can definitely turn into a long-term commitment. Who is this person, this new person? You have ego in reverse. So this could be a Leo, somebody who's not full of themselves. Finally, you could be meeting this person next summer. Okay. On the 15th of August, you can also meet this person around your birthday on the 4th of October. And this is somebody who's an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm also getting a Leo here. I'm getting an Aquarius or a Capricorn. Okay. Who is this new person that's coming in for Libra? This is someone who's very knowledgeable. They're like an academic, okay? I see you meeting this person on the 8th of October, the 10th of October, the 9th of October, or August 10th, 8th, or 9th. Some of you have already met this person. I'm also getting June 10th, 8th, or 9th, and I'm also getting December 9th, 8th, or 10th. No, excuse me, January 10th, 8th, or 9th. I did say January is an important month for you, okay? Um, so what else do we need to do that we haven't done? Yes. We're going to get your career card. What's your money message? The moon. This is about listening to your intuition. Okay. Your intuition is telling you what you need to do. Some of you have dreams of projects or ideas. Those are projects and ideas that you need to start pursuing. You need to be careful with your financial situation because there could be a lot of fluctuations here. Um, so that's something that you need to be aware of. Some of you need to close out projects. So if you've started something new, some of you are starting new projects, starting new projects, but you're not completing them. It's important that you're completing projects before you move on to new ones. Okay. Now let's see if this is a yes or no for you. Ask a question, get an answer. You can ask your question in the live feed or comment below. This is a yes if you're open to forgiving, okay? So this is what I have for you, Libra. We're gonna move on to the next sign. Let's move on to Scorpio. Okay, let's move on to the sign of Scorpio. Okay, make sure you're hitting that like button. We need 10,000 likes and 500 comments on this reading to have it continued. Uh, and also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now so that you don't miss any of these uh, juicy readings that are going to be uploaded in the near future. All right. Okay, Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising.
Okay, Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. Ooh. Some of you are healing from somebody who rejected you, okay? Somebody rejected you or you rejected them in the past. You really wanted answers as to why this happened, why something here didn't work out in the past. Yeah, there's something here about the past, okay? This is somebody who's connected to your community. This is somebody who you really believed you were gonna spend the rest of your life with. Um, I'm getting that a lot of you want answers as to why something here didn't work out. And you're trying, a lot of you in the past were trying to heal from somebody here who rejected you. They didn't appreciate you. Somebody here had options or they chose another option over you and this devastated you here in the past or you did this to somebody here in the past. You learned from this, your heart was broken in the past and you learned to make healthy choices in the past. So there was a karmic energy here of learning to heal and get over something here that affected you in the past. In the present moment, there's an opportunity for love. Somebody here really likes you. They wanna get married to you. They wanna be engaged with you. There's a lot of lust here. However, somebody here is frustrated in this relationship because it hasn't really been... It's like this person likes you, you like them, but one of you, okay, either you or your person, somebody here sees you as marriage material, okay, or you see them as marriage material, but the other person is taking this casual. So one of you is taking it super casual while the other person is like, okay, are we going to move forward? Are we going to be together? Is this something that is going to, you know, lead to um, something long term? There's something here about crystals, okay? There's something here about healing with crystals or a business with crystals. It's going to be super successful for you if that's something that you're doing. Um, there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. So whoever the, whoever's taking this lightly and whoever's not a hundred percent open to like engaging or being, and again, this could be you or your person because you're both not on the same level. It's like you like each other, but something here isn't solidified. I'm seeing 1030 on the clock. So 1030 could be, you know, a really important, um, uh, number for you. There's a possibility for marriage here. Like this relationship can take be brought to the next level but there's something here about separating love and seduction separating lust and true love so this is what you're learning in the present moment and one of the things that you need to know and i think you're feeling this scorpio you know a casual relationship is not enough for you um so if this remains being casual this could be something that needs to be addressed because somebody here sees themselves being with you forever. They don't want something casual, okay? Or you don't want something casual with this person and you don't want to repeat something that happened here in the past. This person who's coming in could be a Gemini, okay? I'm getting an, an Aquarius or a Libra or a Virgo. This person is somebody who... Um, you need to be careful because somebody here could be overindulgent in the near future. Like there's something here about being overly sexualized or um, somebody here's like somebody here has a sex addiction. OK, in the near future. So just be careful of that. If you want a real relationship, you need to set boundaries, okay? If you don't set boundaries and express what it is that you want, again, it says clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. You need to set boundaries. If you don't set boundaries, I see this relationship just being sexual. And a lot of you don't want that. Somebody here is a sex addiction, and this is what needs to be addressed there may be a period of time where you isolate yourself because some of you are still getting over something here that affected you in the past. You're not completely done with whatever uh, affected you in the past. I do feel like during this Mercury retrograde, someone from your past may reach out. And this is somebody here who you've ended things with. And they're going to tell you, hey, it's okay to move forward. It's okay for you to have a new beginning. This person from the past may be a friend or maybe somebody that you're still connected to in some way, shape or form. So you're growing from this. 
This person from the past has unconditional love for you, okay? Whether they're here or not, they have unconditional love for you. They still love you. They know it's probably not possible for you to be together. Some of you may reconcile with this person, but I see it being done. And I see you moving on, or I see this person from the past moving on. Will there be a reconciliation for Scorpio? If you believe it's possible, okay, so this is a yes or a no. I feel for majority of you, um, this is a this is a no because I feel like you're moving on. But there's a small percentage of you that are going to be reconciling because during the, this Mercury retrograde, this person reaches out. For some of you, this person doesn't want to see you move on. They rather just keep you to themselves. I'm seeing 1033 on the clock. So some of you, a portion of you are going to reconcile, a portion of you are not, okay? Now, the new person, you have to be careful because somebody here sees your money and they see your abundance and they leave you feeling alone, okay? Four of air, yes. There could be a person who comes into your life, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, they help you heal. You meet this person in the month of October or in the month of um, January, okay? And I don't feel like this person's 100% because they're very fleeting. Like they're very on and off and in and out with you. And, this, and the reason why this is happening is because one of you, somebody here just wants the sexual part of the relationship and the other person wants something real. So you need to make sure you're communicating what you both want. If there's a lack of clarity, this is what creates some sort of issue. Seven of water. You see, there's a lack of clarity when it comes to this new person. And a lot of you are still reminiscing about someone or something from the past. So you need to still let go of the past. If you haven't already, what did you learn from this person from the past? Confidence. Yeah, you learned how to be confident, more confident. You know, um, this is somebody here who there was again, there's something here about your love life, Scorpio, where th things are never clear. It's like, oh, whatever happens, happens. You need to make sure. OK, one of the things spirit is saying is you can have whatever you want. You need to be clear on what you want. Let the other person know what you want. Don't be afraid of rejection. If this person rejects you, hey, you've now saved so much time here. Um, so this is about getting clear on what you want and setting boundaries. If everything is just about sex and that's all your relationships lead to, this is why you're constantly getting hurt. Okay, um, this new person... Yeah, this new person's really seductive. You see, they're really seductive. And I think a lot of you are looking for more than that. I see you meeting this person around your birthday. It could be the 26th, 27th, or you could have already met this person. I'm seeing October 27th, 26th as well. Okay, but I see a lot of you needing to get clear on what it is you want um, in order for love to truly come in for you. Okay, your financial situation, you have tension. Don't be afraid to... Um, to get involved in things that challenge you, okay? If you're doing something over and over again, it's boring, you need to expand your horizon. So doing something that's completely outside of your comfort zone is actually going to increase your financial situation. This is about something to do with entertainment or housing. This could be real estate, getting into real estate or getting into the entertainment uh, industry. This is about romance. So you could be, you know, doing coaching, you know, for love. Um, and I'm also getting something here about children or something here about... Um, like gambling as, as well. Okay. I'm not saying gamble, but that's what I'm seeing for you. Um, step outside of your comfort zone. That's how you're going to increase your financial situation. Okay. Ask your question, get an answer. Ask your question in the live or comment below if you're asking after the live. Ooh, yes, this is a success. This is a yes for you. Definitely. All right. We're going to move on to the sign of Sagittarius now. Okay, make sure you're hitting the like button. We need 10,000 likes on the uh, video and 500 comments below. All right, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Okay, Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising. Tell me about Sagittarius.
hangman. So in the near future, there's a lack of clarity here. Okay. Somebody's having a hard time taking action. One of you, either you or your person stagnant, somebody here has a problem taking action. It could be you and your person, like somebody here has a problem leading. Okay. Um, so you need to be aware of that. Now in the past, you have the lovers, the queen of wands and the wheel of fortune. There was a lot of success here in the past. There was a lot of this feeling of this is the one. Um, some of you met this person in August. I'm getting November. I'm getting January or May is when you met this person. This person made you feel really good about yourself in the past. They started to feel like a soulmate. They felt like the one. Something here changed very quickly though here in the past. Some of you, this was a beautiful relationship in the past. It was like, wow, I really feel like this is the one for me. Okay, you have the snake, the, the call. There was a lot of competition here in the past. There could have been another person, like a third party here. You were engaged with this person at some point and they were communicating a lot, but I feel like there was more talk than action here in the past. And this person could have been taking advantage of you from the in the past. A lot of you allowed this per this energy to fizzle because there was more sexual attraction than real long-term happiness here. Some of you are still engaged to this person, but it hasn't really moved to the next level. That could also be the case as well. In the present moment, there's a very strong connection and it looks like a new person has come in, okay? They could have earth energy, sun, moon, or rising, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm also getting Pisces or Leo here. There's a lot of love between you and this person, but there's a lot of running and chasing here. It's like, how do I say this? It's like one of you runs, and chases the other there's like this back and forth on and off and this is why i'm getting an immature energy here and this is why the hangman's here because somebody has a hard time taking action towards you i do feel some of you can, you know can potentially get married to this person or you could be living with this person but just like I said to Pisces, and I said this also to Scorpio, you could have a moon Scorpio, a rising Scorpio, a Pisces moon or a rising Pisces, and you're a Sagittarius um, or vice versa, okay? You need to get clear on the type of relationship that you want. Somebody here uh, in the present moment, they're like, they're always showing off. Like, look at me, look at me, ooh. Like, and to have a real relationship and for it to last for a long time, the relationship is more than just the physical. So if you're just focusing in the present moment on, you know, I need to have a certain amount of makeup on or certain hair or certain, like that's not going to last forever. What's going to last is, um, unconditional love, self-love, openness, oneness, passion, um, talking about your feelings and you're going to feel this, right? Like in the present moment, a lot of you just naturally feel like this is the one, but others of you are dealing with runner chaser energy. And a real, real relationship is you don't have to chase the other person and vice versa. If there's chasing involved, it means someone here is immature. Some of you are dealing with someone who's immature and this is what's making you question the relationship. And this is why there's a lack of action being taken. I'm going to give you some advice and this is just personal advice. A lot of you need to see the signs, okay? If you're anxious around this person, some one way you can tell when someone's a karmic is when you feel this like, weird energy, right? It's like your heart starts pumping and you get anxiety and you just feel this, this like drop right in your heart. That's a sign that this person's not for you. So this is about you identifying between a karmic and a soulmate in the present moment. And it's been very difficult because a lot of you are going through some sort of big lesson, major, major lesson in the present moment. Tell me more. Some of you are still dealing with someone from the past. Okay. You keep giving somebody here from the past chance after chance after chance could be a Leo, a Taurus, or another Sagittarius in the near future. If you're still dealing with someone from the past, I see a lot of conflict here. Okay. You still need to let go of this person. Somebody here, there's a karmic in your life. Okay. Over time, you're going to see this person's a karmic. Um, I do see new love coming in for you. Okay. But if you're still dealing with someone from the past, you need to recognize the signs of needing to let this person go because they're a narcissist or they mirror something within you that you need to change. Um, over time, you're going to let this go. And once you let it go, the blockages are going to be removed. So there's this energy of needing to let something go first before something new to, uh, new can come in because you keep giving someone here from the past chance after chance. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but some of you are giving somebody chance after chance. You're trying to make it work. Some of you nurture this person who, you know, doesn't deserve it, but you keep giving them like the green light. 
Okay. Yeah. There's going to be a change or a breakup if it hasn't happened already. And the relationship's done. I don't see you reconciling with this person. There's something here about veggie pizza. Let me know if that resonates. Something here about veggie pizza. You keep letting this person back in. Okay. They're a Leo. Not the right time. I don't see you reconciling with this person anytime soon. Okay. All right. New person. You're going to be meeting someone who's a soulmate. Okay. This person's very different from you. Earth sign Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Taurus is really strong here. Tell me more about this new person for Sagittarius. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be meeting this person um, in, in uh, March, 18th of March next year. Or you could be meeting this person in November, 18th of November. The 4th of November is also really strong here. This person is someone that you're going to realize that, you know, you can spend the rest of your life with this person. They're loving, they're compassionate, but they also are somebody who hides their emotions. It's almost like you need to peel this person open. They're not just going to show you who they are. There's somebody who's very shy and they're very insecure, whoever it is that you're attracting. Okay. They need, they need you to be patient with them. I like you, of course, paradise paradise and you have coffee cups. So this person wants to become your friend first. They want to be your friend and then they want to move to the next level. But I see you and this person moving forward together and, and, and holding on to one another for a very, very long time. Tell me more about this new person for Sagittarius. This person is really eccentric. You can be meeting them on November 4th, November 9th. March 9th, March 4th. That's when you could have met this person as well. Cause some of you already met this person, this person, you're going to end up traveling with them. Okay. From far distances I'm seeing next August, or some of you have already traveled with this person in August. What was the lesson that you learned from this person from your past? You learned to uncover secrets. Somebody here um, was lying or cheating on you and you ended up disconnecting from them because they were constantly cheating on you and you learned a lot from that. You learned how to be confident within yourself in the past from this past person. You have the 11th house, okay? So in order to enhance your financial situation, you need to connect with your community, like-minded people. Some of you also need to get into real estate if you haven't, or if you sell a home, I see it being very successful for you. You also need to learn how to close and finish projects that you start. Some of you start projects and you leave them and you don't complete them. And that's something that you need to work on. All right, let's ask a question and get an answer. Is it a yes or no? You can ask your question in the live feed or comment below. This is a yes. It will improve over time. Um, you need to give the situation space and time and it will eventually improve. Okay. So Sagittarius is what I have for you. I hope you got something from the reading. We're going to move on to the sign of Capricorn. Now sun, moon, or rising. We have one more sign after Capricorn, which is Aquarius. Um, so if you haven't liked the video yet, I would really appreciate if you can do that, please go and hit the like button for me. Um, leave a comment below. We need at least 500 comments below and 10,000 likes on the video to get more of these all signs readings. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And if you're not able to subscribe, make sure you're coming back to the channel every day to check uh, the channel out because sometimes we're not getting the notifications. YouTube has actually changed the algorithm and they've changed the way they're doing things. So not everyone's getting the notification. So you need to make sure that you're checking the channel every few days to make sure you're not missing anything. Okay. All right. Tell me about Capricorn. I see important communication coming in for you um, during this Mercury retrograde. I feel like for you, this is happening. Where is this happening for you? I think your ninth house this is something to do with travel Capricorn, something important in your life connected to travel. So if you're traveling, be very careful. Okay. During this Mercury retrograde, do not, 
Um, be very careful not to lose anything. Make sure you're checking everything, okay? Traveling is going to be really important for you. I forgot to mention, um, I know this is Capricorn, but for Sagittarius, I forgot to mention that Mercury is happening in their 10th house. So, um, so if you're watching this live, good on you because you're going to know this, right? Um, so for you, Capricorn, this is happening, excuse me, in your ninth house. For Sagittarius, some of you are cusp and you, this is why I'm telling you now is because there's going to be major changes in your career and it's connected to traveling in some way, shape or form, What you don't see coming is you learning how to be more clear, more stealth in what you do and in what, you know, what your plans and projects are in the past. There was a lot of competition here. There was a lot of this, um, third parties or, you know, taking advantage of the situation or feeling like you had to struggle to get your opinion across. Um, the star in the chariot is here. So I feel like in the recent past, there was a lot of healing. A lot of you chose to disconnect from maybe a Cancer, an Aquarius here, or a Gemini. Somebody here was constantly playing games. This person, um, some of you met this person and they helped you heal and they helped you move forward. But then there was this game playing here in the past. There was this constant like um, competition, battling, you know, one upping the other person. And it never really felt like real love here in the past. It, it felt more like of a competition here in the past. Um, but there was a lot of healing. Nonetheless, there was a lot of healing in this relationship. There was a lot of love here. This person helped you grow and evolve. I think that, you know, for you, Capricorn, the whole point of this past relationship or past person, um, or whatever it is that you experienced in the past, their job and role was to help you become better in the past to improve yourself. It felt at one point it was unconditional, but after a while you started to realize, you know what? I understand why this person was in my life. They were in my life to improve me, to help me be better. And that's what I feel happened here. Um, a lot of time passed. Okay, something here didn't manifest or materialize here in the past. I'm seeing 1050 on the clock. You can check out 1050 to get your important message. In the present moment, there's a lot of sadness because something here didn't work out. There was a third party. Someone here cheated or lied. I do feel like there's communication in the present moment about a breakup. And there's a lot of heartbreak here in the present moment. But the good news here is, is that you will spend a lot of time with friends. And you may end up meeting somebody here. You have to be careful because some of you are dealing with somebody who is, you always have to chase them or they're like in and out, in and out, in and out all the time. Um, so a lot of you are letting go of a relationship. Okay. If you haven't already, you're letting go of a relationship. There is a new beginning that's coming in for you. Okay. Um, and some of you are going now, this is not for all of you. Some of you are going to reconcile with someone from your past. Others of you are cutting this person off completely. Now, if this is not you reconciling with somebody from your past, you're going to meet somebody new after a breakup, or there's going to be a discussion or talk because some of you are going to reconcile. Some of you are not. Okay. It depends on what Capricorn you are and where you're at. The energy that's coming towards you is you're going to be meeting someone new. Okay. You're going to, you're going to plan or set a date, but you're still slowly letting go of the past. You're slowly learning to ascend and evolve from this. I don't see you meeting anybody until next year. Okay. And the re and again, the re and if this is you single and you recently broke up with someone and you're done, you're not going to meet this person until April. That's when you're going to start dating again. Cause whatever hurt you in the past, it was a really pain, especially if this person cheated on you, it was really painful. You're going to be ascending um, and evolving from this, but I'm also seeing you spending a lot of time on your own in the future. A lot. Okay. If you are reconciling with somebody, there is going to be a new beginning. You're going to learn a lot from the past. Okay. Now this past person, some of you are, again, it's been very difficult getting over this past person. They didn't take action towards you. They made you wait. It created a lot of anxiety. You felt like this person didn't really love you for who you were. This person does a lot of spying. They watch you a lot. Okay. So just keep that in mind. And they do want to talk to you because the reason why this person from the past wants to talk to you, Capricorn is because they want to heal issues from the past with you. They feel like something here is unfinished and they want to heal their heart. They want to free themselves from this. And a lot of you are not giving that person a chance. You're saying, I don't care about this person. I never want to talk to them. They're garbage. I don't want to deal with them. And I'm just going to let you know right now, if you're somebody who wants to move on, the reason why there's a lack of being able to move
move on from this person is because you don't close things out correctly with them. And this is a very big issue for a lot of people. So I'm just warning you right now that for you to have new be um, a new beginning, you need to do that. I'm just going to say this and I'm not manifesting this for you. Okay. Fingers crossed. It's just a suggestion. If you don't close things out with this person from the past, um, there is this likelihood that you may go through a series of relationships where you still have to learn forgiveness. Okay. And I'm just saying that it's not, you know, some of you, that's going to be the case. Others of you won't be. Um, the lesson that you learned from this person in the past was, first of all, there's a lot of anger here because you made, you took an oath to be with this person. Like some of you were married to this person or there was some sort of oath. Okay. I'm seeing 1053 on the clock. You can check out 1053 to get more information on that. You gave your heart and soul to this person. You risked a lot, but you also became more successful with this person. There's something here that you learned or you experienced and it allowed you to move to the next level. Um, this is about allowing and let living. Um, what's the saying? Um, something and let live, you know, the saying, right? Like allow something here to be what, the, what it is. Something here was one way, but you wanted it to be the other way here in the past. And it was almost like you were forcing something or pushing something and you gave your all to it. And because you gave your all to it and, and it didn't really go the way that you wanted to, you feel, you felt, excuse me, like you wasted your time. I don't see you reconciling with this person. Some of you are, but others of you are not. Okay. And that's why I said, there's some of you that will, and some of you that won't, will there be a reconciliation, clear communication? This is a yes and a no. So some of you are going to communicate. If recently you've been communicating a lot with this person, there will be a reconciliation and there will be a marriage or an oath. And you are going to take a risk to be with this person. If this is somebody here that has been making you wait and playing games and you feel anxious, I don't see it. And if you're not communicating with this person, I don't see a reconciliation. So it could be either or. Now, this new person is someone who's going to talk a lot and they're going to give you a lot of love and they're going to help you rebuild your life. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting a Leo or a Scorpio. You're going to be meeting this person. This person that you're meeting is very spiritual. Okay. I'm seeing, um, somebody who's very open, like they're very open sexually. Okay. This is somebody here. Who's going to message you. They're going to contact you constantly. They're going to be messaging, messaging, messaging you. Um, you're going to rebuild your life with this person, whether it's a new person or a past person. I see you meeting this person on August 15th, August 16th, November 16th, November 15th. Tell me more about this new person for Capricorn. Yes. Could be a Leo. I'm getting a Pisces here. Okay. So you can meet this person around August 19th, November 15th, 16th, August 8th. I'm also getting September 8th, September 19th, September 15th, September 16th. Okay. So let's, um, talk about your financial situation. In order to truly um, increase your financial situation, you need to step outside of the box. This could be connected to um, your finances. Some of you are going to be starting um, like crypto or you're going to be starting to, you know, some of you are starting a channel connected to money or you're going to be advising people in money. And that's how you're going to make more money. Um, your biggest message here about your financial situation is to focus on the things that you're passionate about. If you're not passionate about something, forget it. Don't even focus on it. Okay. This is about you clearly communicating and also talking about, this could be talking about real estate. This could be talking about precious metals. This could be talking about antiques. Those are ways I see you increasing your financial situation. Okay. So let's see if it's going to be a yes or no for you. Ask your question, get an answer. You can ask your question in the live feed, or you can comment below. I feel like this is going to be a yes for you. Okay. So Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I hope you got something from it. We're going to move on to the sign of Aquarius. This is going to be the final sign of the evening. 
or the morning or the afternoon, wherever you are in the world, uh, make sure you're hitting that like button. We need at least 10,000 likes and 500 comments below. If you haven't received my tarot deck um, that recently came out, it's gonna be linked below. So if you're interested in that, it is a tarot deck for beginners. So I don't recommend buying it if you're somebody who's a seasoned tarot um, reader, cause you may not like it. If you're somebody who's new to it, then it may be your thing, okay? So if you're interested in that, it will be linked below, all right? Okay, let's move on now to the next sign. Okay, so Aquarius. Thank you, Aquarius, for being patient with me. Uh, final sign of the evening. Okay. Aquarius. Okay, so what you don't see coming is the Six of Swords. Aquarius, you are disconnecting from things that don't serve you, okay? 2023 has been a really tough year for you because a lot of you are really closing cycles. Like you're, you know, you had Pluto in your sign and a lot of things came to an end. New things started, things ended. A lot of you had a hard time letting things go that were really not for you uh, here in the past. I feel like you started something new here in the past and it failed. There could have been a third party. Some of you were dealing with somebody in the past who was super egotistical, like they were only focused on themselves and this led to a lot of pain uh, or hurt here in the past the relationship started out very abundant again it ended very quickly started for at first it felt like unconditional love it felt like okay this is a person for me and then it ended very quickly and i'm also getting with the coffin energy again you know the reason why a relationship came to an end with a leo is because they were really egotistical with you extremely egotistical with you like this person they were very self-absorbed, narcissistic. At the beginning, there was a lot of this love. It was like, ooh, but there was a lot of love bombing here in the past, okay? Um, there was a lot of attraction here, but that wasn't enough to sustain the relationship and it ended, okay? Now, in the present moment, a lot of you are just focused on your work. You are dating, but it's it hasn't really gotten off the ground. Some of you are dating someone who's been on and off, in and out of your life, but there's one person that has a potential here. Could be somebody that you work with, okay? You need to be careful because some of you, there's two things you need to be careful of in the present moment. The first thing you need to be careful of in the present moment with the chaser energy is, um, Somebody here wants you to chase them. Whoever it is you're attracting in the present moment, they're super, they're super sexy and attractive, but it, that's not enough for you. You need somebody who can give you some sort of grounded energy. I'm seeing 1101 on the clock. So check out 1101 and what that means with the angel numbers online. For many of you, this is about you focusing on your work and not focusing on love in the present moment. And I know a lot of you want love and you're trying to attract that, but the reason why it's not time for you is because Venus is still retrograding in Leo in your seventh house, okay? So if you're a rising Aquarius, this is happening in your seventh house. And 
Mercury is retrograding in your eighth house. So this is about you working on things like your taxes. Some of you haven't done your taxes yet. You need to do that. Um, some of you need to work on joint finances. Like there's more business stuff that needs your focus than love. And some of you are pushing love or you're expecting a lot from love and it's not really giving you what you need because the timing isn't right. If you're dealing with someone who's making you chase them right away, you already know this is not the one you're being tested again. A lot of you are being tested because you didn't learn the lesson from the past. Okay. You just kept allowing someone here to use use you and abuse you sexually. So this is about you learning from this in the near future. A lot of you are learning how to be very uh, logical in love and you're spending a lot of time on your own. Okay. That's what I'm getting. And if this doesn't resonate with you, you can check your sun, moon or rising again. You have chaser and runner here. So there's karmics that are coming in your life. The universe is testing you because the universe cannot bring you your soulmate until you pass the tests. Tell me more about this. Grim Reaper, you need to learn when something is done and you need to release it. Stop giving something second and third chances because you're learning to grow from this. You're learning to evolve from relationships that don't serve you. The past person was someone that you thought you were going to spend your life with, but you ended up walking away from this person because they weren't satisfying you. You're still being tested in the present moment and you will continue being tested until you learn to stand your ground and be very firm in what you believe and what you want. Okay. Um, past person, it ended very quickly. You learned a lot from this. This person was very narcissistic and overindulgent. Are you going to be reconciling? I don't see a reconciliation, but let's see. Is there a reconciliation for Aquarius in the present moment? I don't see one, but listen to your intuition. I feel like this is a no. You already know the answer. Um, I feel like it's a no. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, but I feel like this is a no. Okay. New person is somebody here who is a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius, Aries. This somebody, this person treats you like an option. So you need to be careful. If you jump into a new relationship too quickly, you're going to be disappointed. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Okay. This is the time for you to focus on yourself. I don't see you meeting somebody new until next year. I'm seeing March, April, May. March, April, May. Okay. November, you need to be careful because you rush into, um, to be with someone on November 5th. This is someone at a distance. You could travel to this person, August and July, those two months you, you jumped into a relationship with someone and it ended as quick as it started. New person's coming in next year, not now. Okay. Um, queen of fire next year, um, April, this person's super competent, whoever it is that you're attracting. They're intelligent, they're graceful, and they're, they have the full package here, okay? Um, eight of air, some of you are gonna meet this person next year in October, or you can meet them on the 8th of October. But again, the eight of swords is some, it's an energy of worry. So again, if you're rushing to meet someone new, it's not good. Allow something to naturally happen for you because you're still learning how to let go of things that don't serve you. A lot of you end up getting involved in things that are not for you because you think you have the control when you don't. Spirit is gonna bring the right person to you when the timing is right. So again, I'm seeing there's a lot of like spending time focusing on yourself. What did you learn from this person in the past who was super narcissistic? What did you learn from them? Wishing, you learn to stop wishing and to put things into action and in concrete action. You learn to recognize that passion is not a real connection. Just because there's passion and sexual attraction doesn't mean that that person's for you. Um, there was a lot of wishing here. Like, oh, I wish I can find my soulmate. And then when you realize that this person couldn't give you what you needed, you felt very disappointed. So this is not about wishing. It's about actually seeing the truth of somebody. If somebody really likes you, they're going to take action. They're going to do what they need to do. You don't need to force this person to do what they need to do. They're just going to do it. How do you increase your financial situation? What is it that you need to do? You have nature. So spending a lot of time in nature, I see something to do with flowers. Some of you are too much in the physical world, like you're chasing money or you're doing something connected to money. This is about doing what you love. This is about being in nature. This is about growing or planting your own food. This is about doing things that is non-conventional, that are non-conventional. Some of you need to end, um, you know, anything to do with the physical realm. This is about you stepping outside of the physical realm and doing stuff that's more feminine. So again, feminine could be dealing with flowers, gardening, um, doing passive things. That's what's going to increase your financial situation. Anything that involves pressure or hard work is not for you. 
Okay. And I know it's hard for you to do that because you may be like, oh no, I need to do things that are uncomfortable. But this is about you doing things that put a smile on your face. When you start to focus on things that put a smile on your face, that's what's going to be able to enhance your life because a lot of you are doing things out of necessity. It's like, oh, I have to do this. No, you don't. You don't. You should do what you love. Your mental health is more important than just doing things just for the hell of doing them. Okay. Um, so that's what I see for you. I think I've gotten all the cards for you. Yeah. Let's do ask a question, get an answer. You can ask your question in the live feed or comment below. If you're watching this after the live, I feel like this is a no, this is about you moving into a new direction. So I feel like this is a no for you. Now you should be focused on new things at this time. Okay. So Aquarius this is what I have for you. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We need at least 10,000 likes on this video, 500 comments below. If you're interested in my new tarot deck, it is linked below in the description box. There is a discount, um, going on right now. So you're going to want to make sure you get it. If you're somebody who constantly go, I'm just going to say this. Um, and it's a spiritual thing that I think all of you need to know. If you're somebody who constantly buys from Amazon and you're returning stuff all the time, that's not a good thing to do. Okay. And the reason why it's not a good thing to do is because every time you buy something from Amazon and you return it, um, and there's nothing wrong with the product, you're actually creating negative energy for yourself by creating issues in different directions. So make sure if you are returning something to Amazon, you are doing it because it is a faulty product or it's not what you thought you were buying. Okay. Not because of whatever, because you're going to use it and then return it back. Um, so I see a lot of people doing this and this is what's creating issues in people's lives. So just, just make sure you're aware of that. Um, it's really, really important because I see a lot of that. Okay. Um, so just keep that in mind. I want to thank all of you for tuning in. Thank you so much. Um, we need 10,000 likes on this video, 500 comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.